Hi everyone, I want to talk about a little issue that I had on my Galaxy S8. After using T-Mobile service on it, uh, this is an unlocked phone, I used a Freedom Pop SIM. This is like a free roaming European SIM. Allows you to take your phone overseas and you get some data and whatnot. And uh, when you put the Freedom Pop SIM into the phone, what it does is sort of reconfigures itself sort of changes the system to support that sim so you go through this kind of rebooting process and then back in the US when the original T-Mobile sim was put back in the phone is actually stuck in this very strange thing so if we look here there's a notification that says sim card changed tap here to restart and use the new sim so it's almost like once it detected the T-Mobile sim it wants to reconfigure the phone to kind of make it a T-Mobile phone again. If I hit not now, you can see here that it just says 4G as opposed to LTE. And when the T-Mobile SIM is in, it actually shows LTE. Another issue is under the dialer, we're in the phone app here and under settings, it no longer has Wi-Fi calling as an option. So when we put the T-Mobile SIM back in, it wants to do the provisioning here, and if we click here, we're back at the service provider. All right, so this, you figure, should convert it back to T-Mobile. So we're going to hit restart, and the issue is that that message just comes back time after time. doesn't seem to actually do anything. Okay, so the phone just rebooted, and after signing in, uh, same message. So I think I found a way to fix this. Uh, keep in mind, this may not apply to other models. This, is, uh, this phone actually right here is a Galaxy S8+. Plus which is model number SMG955U1. It's the Snapdragon US version of the unlocked phone. I did it on my own Galaxy S8, which is the 950U1, also Snapdragon. So I don't know if this applies to the Exynos version or S7. It's also, we're running Oreo software here, so this may be different with Android 7. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna shut the phone off, power off completely. And we're going to go into recovery mode. I took the phone out of the case. So to go into recovery, you push Bixby, volume up, and then you hold them all three and you push the power button. And once it turns on, you let go of the power button, but you keep holding Bixby and volume up. And as you can see here, it now says installing system update. Well, this phone doesn't have an update pending at this time. So I think what's actually happening is this is reconfiguring the phone for T-Mobile. So let it do its thing, and then we'll see what happens. Now it just says no command, which is odd, but uh, I think if we wait a little longer, it's gonna actually go into recovery mode. I'm actually never sure if this, oh, there we go, went into recovery, okay. So, uh, as you can see, yep, Android 8. So let's reboot the system now. Just push the power button and it's going to reboot. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do just for good measure as I booted back into recovery, I am going to wipe the cache partition. So this is safe to do, it doesn't give you a warning. See if you go to the factory default you have this warning here. But on the cache it just, it just erases the kind of cache files. And you just press the power button to select and there we go, cache is wiped. So we reboot again. Oh, so the phone rebooted and as you can see now it says LTE, and we're on the T-Mobile network just like we were before. But uh, yeah, that's working, so let's just check the dialer and uh, see if the Wi-Fi calling is back. Here in the phone settings, we now have the Wi-Fi calling options. And I mean, also, we didn't have that pop-up dialog box. It just didn't appear at all. So that's basically it. You just need to boot into recovery. If you switch your SIM to out to your European card back to T-Mobile and you're getting that stuck message, just boot into recovery, let it do the update, clear the cache for good measure. I don't think that's necessary, necessary, but just do it. You can do it anyways, it takes a second. And there you go, you're fixed. No more annoying message. So I hope you found this useful and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.